Is kissing in public illegal in India? That's the very important question we're answering on today's video. Hey everybody, I'm Benjamin Jenks. I make videos about India and coming from beautiful India here today. And I wanna cover something that if you're new to India, you might not know, but it may be illegal to be kissing someone in public here. Quick interruption, I make weekly videos about India, so please subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. Yep, there have been instances where policemen have arrested couples for kissing in public. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go through what happened in those instances and also what the Indian Supreme Court said so that you can have a more well-rounded picture of Hey, if you want to approach PDA in India, you'll know exactly what the law says. Stick around to the end of the video too because I have one weird example of how a court charged a Hollywood actor for kissing a Bollywood star at an event here. So yes, PDA may be illegal here in India. In the Indian Penal Code, section 294, let me see here, it reads, you may not do any obscene acts in a public place that are an annoyance to others. Some policemen have cited that code as they were arresting couples for kissing. Now, if you're like me, you're like, wait a minute, an obscene act? What does that mean? Like. If it, is it where I consider it obscene? Is it the whole community considers it obscene? Is it just the policeman? He's having a bad day, that's obscene. And what about an annoyance? Like a lot of things are annoying to me. Like for instance, there's this guy just hammering away on this house. Probably doing something good, building a house, but as I'm trying to record a video, that's an annoyance to me. Is that obscene? Can I get this guy arrested? My point is simply that the code is specifically ambiguous. The Supreme Court states that it wants lower courts to decide how specific to enforce it. What this means, however, is that a policeman could use this code to arrest someone, and they have. Let me go through a few examples where they've done this. One couple was taking selfies on a public street. They were arrested for suspected kissing and this court went all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court rules, let me read this here. It is inconceivable how, they say a bunch of legal jargon, the expression of love, they say a bunch more legal jargon, would attract the offense of obscenity. They ruled in the couple's favor. They forced the policeman or excuse me, they disciplined the police officers, made them write an apology letter to the couple. Another instance, in Kerala, 2014, there was a protest called the Kiss of Love. 50 protesters were like, that is pretty absurd that you can't kiss in public. We are gonna go kiss in public and we are gonna make a statement. So they went out there, a thousand people came out to be like, what is going on, this is weird. And some groups actually were angry and counter-protested. They brought iron rods. 25 people ended up having at least minor injuries. 52 protesters were taken to jail for this protest. The positive thing was that there was one photograph of a couple that went viral and it sparked a national debate similar to what you and I are talking here. Should PDA be legal or illegal? In another instance, a couple was kissing in the backseat of a car as it was driving along. The policeman sees this, starts to give chase. The couple who's driving or the guy who's driving starts speeding away. Eventually he does stop and they are charged. Get this, the policeman says, um, their act in a running car could have proved dangerous both for them and other vehicles on the road. He charged them with obscenity and indecent public behavior. So if you're like me, you're a tourist here, you want to enjoy your, your time, maybe you have a girlfriend like I do, maybe you have a, a boyfriend, maybe you have some other type of friend who you may want to kiss or hug in public, let's talk about what is obscene according to the law. So the Indian Penal Code section 292 says, 
Obscene is something that is lascivious or appears to the prurient interest that might deprave and corrupt the person. If you're like me, you have no idea what lascivious means. So I looked it up, reveals overt or offensive sexual desire. And if you're also like me, you don't know what purient means. So we look that up, encourages an excessive interest in sexual matters. So this definition of obscene, basically like could inspire sexual thoughts in other people that may corrupt them, it could be applied to kissing. If I'm, or you, or somebody is making out in public, that's gonna lead to some sexual thoughts. If you remember, India Penal Code Section 294 also states it must cause an annoyance to someone. So what if one person is just particularly sensitive to making out? Can this person get someone else arrested? Well, the Supreme Court states the obscenity has to be judged from the point of view of an average person by applying contemporary or modern community standards, meaning that it has to be like the average of the people in the community. So while some people are obviously offended by this, other people are probably not by a kiss or a hug or holding hands. Therefore, it's probably okay. The topic that we're talking about has also been called moral policing, and it's been a very popular yet controversial term recently. There are some people in India who are like, heck no, we don't want PDA. This is a Western value that is corrupting our culture. And honestly, on some point, if I look at their perspective, it's true. Like, I don't want to be walking down the street and see a bunch of kids making out or do, doing even further things, I'll let your mind wander. I don't care if someone's holding hands or, or giving a hug or a small peck on the cheek, that's okay. But I can agree, like it's kind of gross to see that. On the other side, if someone has a spontaneous act of affection, I mean, that's not that bad. You're in Goa, you're on the beach. Of course, you may want to kiss your partner. So the Sp Supreme Court sides with the people who are against moral policing and it states, notions of social morality are inherently subjective, meaning person to person, uh, their opinion. And the criminal law cannot be used as a means to unduly interfere with the domain of personal autonomy. So basically, as long as I'm not harming anyone, I'm doing something for myself, then the law cannot interfere and the police cannot interfere. The Supreme Court also recognizes views might be changing. You have young people these days, they might be wanting to do some kissing in public. So the court states, the lower courts should be sensitive to the changing perspective and concepts of morality on today's society and its standards and its changing view of morality. So you gotta be hip to the trends. If people wanna make out in public, the courts have to be with that. At the beginning I had said one famous Hollywood actor got an arrest, put, an arrest warrant put out for him by a court in India, Richard Gere, famous uh, from Pretty Woman, um, I'm blanking, but other big movies in, in Hollywood. He kissed a Bollywood actress, Shilpa, Oops. I put her name right there, at an AIDS awareness event, and a court put out a, 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 a warrant for his arrest, if I can talk. They even burned effigies of Richard Gere and this Bollywood star. They burned them, some people in the community. Of course, he was never arrested or had to face charges, but the point was made. Now, if you're a traveler, if you're you're going around India, you have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, what should you do? Is it legal to kiss them in public? Well, aside from just being legal or not legal, there's also the concept of social taboo. And I'm gonna defer to my audience here. There's a lot of, uh, I have a lot of Indian viewers and they have been living here. They have great perspective. So I would ask them to please put in the comments your perspective. Is it taboo to kiss someone in public or hug or hold hands? Please give us your perspective on that below. From what I'm seeing, 
The Indian mentality, or that many people have, is that it's more conservative, that it's more traditional. I can't say that I've seen anyone kissing or holding hands in public, although I have seen people, gen people generally showing affection. I have seen uh, friends holding hands, and that seems like a typical thing. So with that in mind, I would just say kiss, hug, hold hands in your hotel room, do it in your home. We're a guest in this country, and I'm grateful to be here. Look at how beautiful this is. It's a little cloudy today, but most days it's super beautiful. I just don't want, I don't know the community standard. I don't know what the average person's gonna think. So for me, it's just smarter. I'll do whatever I need to do in the comfort of my own home and out in public. I'm going to be more conservative than the traditional person. What do you think about this? Please put it below. Also, if you like this video, please click a like. And I do a lot of hard work on my videos. If you think one of your friends would enjoy this, please share it with them and help me grow my channel.